Chapter 151 Fong Mingyuan's Discovery I cannot agree on this term. Can we use a different one? Hansen said frankly. Although he was sure that he would not lose, but he would not bet with what belonged to others. It was a matter of principle. I know you will act this way. Ji Yin and looked like she had guessed this would happen. She said with disdain, Well, it's fine if you do not teach me, but you will have to show me how it is done until I don't want to watch anymore. Deal? Hansen pondered and thought that should be fine. Ji Yin Ren provoked him. Are you a man or not? You were so fussy. Right away. Hansen signed both copies of the contract and scanned them with his comlink to approve with his personal code, which was key to the signature. None could imitate a signature since it was linked to one's comlink number and personal identity. Ji Yin Ren was delighted and thought Hansen was provoked to sign. She quickly did the same. This one is yours. I will check on your matches later. Don't be a deadbeat. Ji Yin Ren proudly waved her copy of the contract. That's exactly what I wanted to say, Hansen said with a smile. The next morning, Fong Mingguan and his team started to prepare for the live broadcast. The main game to cover was Ouyang Shaosan's martial art game, followed by Warframe and Hand of God games. Fong Mingguan took some time to browse the Blackhawk online community, for he believed that it was the best way to know the school better. Soon Fong was attracted to one of the topics many people were discussing who Ji Yinran's boyfriend was. As someone working in media, Fong Mingguan had heard of the name Ji Yinran and knew that she was the president of Hand of God Society in Campus Bell. However, she was not a star and who her boyfriend was did not catch his attention originally as it would not be interesting to the viewers. But Fong Mingguan still read that through and was shocked and enraptured by what he had read. Ji Yinran's boyfriend had beaten Li Yufeng by 20 points in Hand of God. Such unexpected news thrilled Fong. He was just worried that the live might be lackluster. If they simply showed Ouyang Xiaosan's game, their ratings could not be great. And Fong had smelled something that had the potential to go viral about this topic of Ji Yinran's boyfriend. Lu, come and see this, called Fong Minkwan. Lu read the title with some doubts, wondering why Fong would show him campus gossip, which seemed to be of little use to their show. But after Lu read the entire discussion, he opened his mouth wide and said after a long while, that is impossible. Someone who could beat Li Yifeng by 20 points would be in the top 10 of the whole alliance. How is it possible that we never knew of such a person? There were many witnesses, so it could not be fake. You can browse and see what others say, said Fang Mingguan. Xiao Lu read some more and became more and more excited. Fang, we should focus our live on the game of Hand of God. If we could get this master player on camera, our show will be a hit. Lu, you remember what the name of that student we met last night was? Fang Mingguan suddenly asked. No. Why did you mention him? Lu was puzzled. Don't you remember what he had said? He said he could easily beat Li Yufeng by 20 points, Fang Ming recalled. You think that student is Ji Yinran's boyfriend? That is unlikely. He is a freshman in the archery department and a member of Heavy Warframe Society. All he signed up for was Warframe items. How could he be Ji Yinran's boyfriend? If he is that good at Hand of God, why didn't he sign up for that? Lu could not believe that Han Sin was Ji Yinran's boyfriend. That's what makes things interesting. Fong Mingguan smiled. He did enroll in most of the Warframe items. Go move our equipment now. We will cover all the Warframe games. Fong. Since we cannot be sure that he is Ji Yinran's boyfriend, isn't this too risky? And even if he is Ji Yinran's boyfriend and is great at Hand of God, it doesn't mean he would do well in Warframe as well. Lu is worried. There are enough media covering Ouyang's game, so it doesn't matter if we do it as well. Just do as I just told you, Fong Minkwan said firmly. Although he cannot be sure that Han Sin was Ji Yinran's boyfriend, Fong felt Han Sin was an interesting person. If he is not the strongest player, he will definitely be the most eye-catching one. Fong Mingguan preferred taking the risk to following the crowd. It could turn out to be great. If not, there would not be too much loss. Although Lu did not agree with Fong Mingguan's idea and did not believe that Hansen could be Ji Yinran's boyfriend, he had to follow Fong Mingguan's instructions. Their media peers saw Huashing Station removing the installed equipment and felt odd. When they asked if Huashing was going after something big and found out Huashing was going to cover the Warframe items, they simply laughed. Blackhawk was just okay in Warframe items. They would sooner broadcast the Hand of God games, 
as there were at least the Beauty Ji Yin and in the Masterly Yufeng. Washing Station had finally installed all their equipment at the site of the Warframe games. They had to work overtime for that. Fong Ming Kwan continued to browse the campus online community. Although there were a lot of equipment in the Warframe game site, they were mostly just backups of other media in case they wanted to say something about the Warframe items during the breaks of Ouyang's game. Washing Station was the only one that had their full set of equipment at the Warframe game site, since martial arts were Blackhawk's strong suit. Chapter 152 A Star On the day of the game, Hansen drove Silver Killer out of the 7th warehouse, because it was allowed to use one's own Warframe in the Warframe items. After all, all players were skilled in different types of Warframes, and it was impossible to ask everyone to drive the same type. For those who did not have their own Warframe, the contest committee would even provide their Warframes. Since Starry Group was the sponsor, the Warframes provided were not bad, normally worth one million to several millions. But many students were still using their own. Generally speaking, the advanced players would all bring the Warframes they used every day. This way, they would be more familiar with the functions and parameters and able to eliminate errors. The advanced players from the Warframe Society all had their own Warframes, some of which were even worth a dozen million. Sin, I did not know you were rich. This Warframe is gorgeous. Sure stared at Silver Killer. Among the heavy Warframe Society members, Fatty, Skinny, Lu Ming, and Wang Ming Ming all had their own Warframes in addition to Han Sr. Wang Ming Ming's was the most high-end one. Lu Ming's also looked quite expensive. But when it came to the appearance, Silver Killer was the winner. The streamlined shape and exquisite craftsmanship was simply beyond any mass-produced products. It was a true limited edition, and the only one in the laboratory. All prototypes would be different as the design concept and technology changed. And Silver Killer was especially unique. It is just an ordinary Warframe, and doesn't even have a weapon system. Hansen told the truth about the only flaw of Silver Killer. With a weapon system, it would not look so fine, Lu Ming said. The heavy Warframe Society members went toward the match venue. Silver Killer caught a lot of attention, but more people were attracted by Wang Mingming's Warframe. Some people even shouted out, Destroyer, someone is driving a destroyer. Who is this player? Which master in the Warframe Society is it? More and more people were noticing the Warframe Wang Mingming was driving. Destroyer had been discontinued a few years ago. As a classic luxury model, many Warframe lovers took pride in owning a Destroyer, and it was so incredible to see it in the school-wide match. Although the performance of Destroyer was just as good as the current ones, its value as a collective was over a hundred million. Who would drive it to a match? Outside the venue, more and more people were paying attention to Destroyer, and many were inquiring about who the driver was. Later, they were stunned by what they learned. The person driving Destroyer was not one of the advanced player in the Warframe Society, but a heavy Warframe Society member. And they also learned that the driver was a girl in freshman year, and her fellow Society members were almost all freshmen. Heavy Warframe Society is in the match? Shouldn't they go participate in some moving contest? Do not say that. There is at least Warframe in their name. It's a pity. Such a great Warframe. It is the Destroyer. Naturally, no one was optimistic about the heavy Warframe Society's performance. After all, no matter how good a Warframe was, the key was the player. On the other hand, Fong Ming Kwan had started the live and focused the camera on the heavy Warframe Society members. The holographic footage was being uploaded to the Skynet simultaneously. Many loyal fans had been waiting in front of their screens already. Most of them did not care too much about the content, but who the host was. With Fong's reputation, the live started with several hundred thousand viewers. Wow, Destroyer. Starry Cup has some class. Many people could not help but praise when recognizing the Destroyer in the holographic image. Hello, friends. This is your host, Fong Ming Wan. From today, I will be covering Starry Cup Blackhawk Division for you. I will broadcast the Warframe items live. The viewers who knew something about Starry Cup started to leave comments. Fong. Why don't you broadcast Ouyang Sha San's martial arts match? Why Warframes? Blackhawk is just SOSO in Warframe items. Is there something shady going on here? Fong must be marginalized in the station. Fong Minkwan saw these comments and smiled. Thank you, friends, for your concern. 
The reason I chose to broadcast live all the Warframe matches is that I think this year there will be a most valuable player from Blackhawk who will be a star in the entire alliance. So, this show will focus on all his matches. In addition, this player is in all the items of Warframe except for one due to a time conflict. Let us wait and see his performance. Really? A star in the entire alliance? Last time he happened to be right, and now he is trying his luck again. Nonsense. I graduated from Blackhawk and that school is lucky to be in the top 20 in Warframe and the Alliance. Fong must be talking about the driver of the Destroyer? Haha. <laughs> Excited to see what will happen. Fong is so creative with his live show. Love you, Fong Minkwan. Both the believers and non-believers gazed at the Destroyer. I will tell you something about this player briefly. He is a freshman in Blackhawk and majors in archery as a member of the school's Heavy Warframe Society. His introduction left the audience confused. Freshmen, archery, and Heavy Warframe Society seem to have nothing to do with a most valuable player. Fang Mingguan must be crazy, thought Wang Cha Ching who was also watching this live show. Chapter 153, The Hilarious Destroyer In Blackhawk Military Academy, many students were also watching the live show hosted by Fang Mingguan. No one could be in all the match venues at the same time, so some students in other venues were watching Warframe games through Fong's program. But most of them watched because of the fame of Fong Minkwan. Military school students were mostly in First God Sanctuary and all knew of Fong. Ji Yin and was in the match venue of Hand of God, also watching Warframe games through Fong Minkyuan's live show. Fong Minkwan is so dramatic. A star? Our school does not have anyone like that, Chu Lily protested. Ji Yinren smiled. Journalists are all like that, and Fong Minkwan is no exception. Ji Yin and then started to search Han Sin's figure in the frame, but Fong Minkyuan's introduction caught her attention. Freshman, archery, heavy warframe society. These all seem to fit that cheating guy. Fong couldn't be talking about him? Ji Yinren felt a little uneasy, but she did not find Han Sin in the image since she did not know which warframe Han Sin was in, and her gaze fell on the destroyer like the rest. With the intense discussion of the audience, the first match in Warframe items had begun. It was the most straightforward 30,000 feet ring race. All the Warframes were at the starting point, awaiting the order to start. Everyone thought Fong Mingxuan's introduction was about the driver of the Destroyer. Ji Yin and also watched the Destroyer with her heart racing. A whistle sounded, and under the crowd's watch, the Destroyer took the first step with the rest and all were waiting to see its performance. But in the next moment, the destroyer which was only one step away from the starting point fell to the ground with a thump. A strange silence fell on the venue. This is what Fong Minkwan calls MVP? Is this supposed to be funny? Haha, <laughs> hilarious. Fong Minkwan, you should do stand-up comedy instead. It was a destroyer. Ji Yin and could hardly believe her eyes. She had seen bad players, but not this bad. Tripping at the start point in a race. It was difficult to imagine that someone like this would dare to come to the competition. Haha, uh -huh. this is what Fong Mingguan called a star. A star indeed, but a comedy star. Chu Lily laughed herself into a state of helplessness. But suddenly they heard the smart machine announcing the results. Warframe ring race, first place, number 69, Hansen from archery department and heavy Warframe society, second place. Everyone was shocked and found a gorgeous silver Warframe standing on the finish line. When they were laughing at the funny destroyer driver, the game had ended, and the champion was someone fitted Fong Mingxuan's description. Ji Yin Ran was also a little dumbfounded. She had clearly heard Han Sin was the champion of the Warframe ring race. The Starry Cup covered a wide range of schools, and within the Blackhawk division, the games were rather straightforward. The ring race, for example, did not involve any pre-finals. S asterisk hashtag T. So the driver of that silver warframe was whom Fong was talking about. I know that Fong would not joke like that. How did he win just now? I didn't even look. I do not know. I was just laughing too hard. Haha, <laughs> they are both in heavy warframe society and are so different. This live is so interesting. Fong makes much better shows than others. Fong is the best host. Who is the driver of the silver warframe? Fong Minkwan clenched his fist and was so excited that he almost called out. Han Sin was even better than he had thought. It seemed that he had made the right bet again. Everyone watched the silver warframe walking on the podium and raising the trophy and prize for the ring race champion. 
The advanced players from the Warframe Society were rather mad. They thought that the only reason Hansen could beat them was the performance of his Warframe. Looking at the heavy Warframe Society cheering, some members in the Warframe Society sneered, lying back on his Warframe isn't worth bragging about. We will see how he does in the items that test operational skills. Yes, the next one is Hurdle Race, and we will kill it. Exactly. Luo Xiangyang gazed at his students in silence. He did not mention Han Sin to them on purpose, to humble them, so that they would focus more on improving their skills than bragging about themselves. Soon the hurdle race began, which took place on the same ring, only with many obstacles. The players had to keep the speed while avoid the obstacles, which called for more than a strong engine. When Silver Killer stood on the starting point again, all eyes were focused on it, and Fang Mingxuan's live was gaining popularity. More and more people had heard about Fang Mingxuan's prediction and wanted to see for themselves the person Fang Ming had called a star in the alliance. Ji Yin and was gazing nervously at the silver killer in the holographic image. She was a little scared because she could not imagine what she should do if Hansen really got five championships. The players from the Warframe Society vowed to show Hansen their strength this time. As the whistle sounded, all the Warframes took off like arrows leaving the string, and that silver figure was obviously faster than the others by a body length, pulling away from them. So fast. Chu Lily could not help exclaiming. At this speed, he had no time to avoid the first obstacle wall. Ji Yin Ren slightly frowned. Han Sin's silver warframe was too powerful that it was now within 30 feet from the first obstacle wall. He had no time to run around the wall with such speed and distance. Chapter 154 Brutal Force the Warframe Society members were overjoyed to see this. They were slowing their Warframes down to bypass the obstacle wall, while Hansen could not do that at the speed he was going. What a fool. Doesn't matter if his Warframe is good, thought the Warframe Society members contemptuously. Boom. The silver Warframe in leading position knocked out the obstacle wall and kept rushing forward at the same speed. Boom. 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 One wall after another was crushed by Silver Killer. Foot-thick concrete walls were like bubbles under the impact created by the Silver Warframe. The viewers of the live show were in an uproar. S asterisk hashtag T. Is this a foul? Can you do it this way? There is no provision that prohibits this either. That Warframe's performance was so incredible that it could withstand such collisions and maintain the speed at the same time. Aha! This is a man's way of driving. Awesome! This is not even a fair game. It's more like a test of Warframe performance. Other players are almost bursting into tears. It is even faster than others after knocking out a wall. I don't recognize this Warframe. Whose product is it? What kind of Warframe is that? I want one. Boring. You think you can bully people if you're rich? This game does not make any sense. It's only fair if they all use the same type of Warframe. I did not see a star, only a rich bastard. Fong Ming Wan actually supports such a person. Is he the same Fong Ming Wan I used to know? What are you talking about? Winning is winning. The Warframe performance is a part of a Warframe game. What is your problem? Right. When you fight the Shuras, would you go off your Warframes if they don't use any? Han Sen's approach caused a lot of controversy, while Ji Yin and was even more upset by his crushing wall after wall. He is a cheater indeed. With such a Warframe, it is highly likely that he will win five championships. Ji Yin Ran regretted so much that she had signed a contract with this guy. She could not believe that this guy had a way to cheat in an official match. In the end, Silver Killer was the first to cross the finish line again and became the champion at the hurdle race. The Warframe Society members were shooting fiery gazes at him. Due to Hansen's highly controversial win, many students who were watching other games came to the Warframe match venue. Even the most popular martial arts games started to lose audience to the Warframe matches. People at the news stations were confused to see students abandoning even Ouyang Xiaosan's match. When they learned from a few students what had happened, it was too late to move their equipment around. They had to use simple equipment to do the report of the Warframe game, which was not comparable to Fong Mingxuan's show. On the Skynet, more and more people were watching Fong's live show. The number of the viewers had reached a million and continued to grow. Although a million people were nothing compared to the entire alliance, for the game in one division, this number was quite impressive. After all, most people interested in Starry Cup would rather focus their attention on the schools that were potential champions. 
Despite the fact that Black Hawk was a famous school, it did not have one item that was outstanding. Therefore, not many people would choose to watch this division. Many people watched because it was Fong Ming Kwan who was doing the live show. Other stations that focused on Black Hawk division had even less viewers, 10,000 tops. Fong Ming Xuan's live show was also quickly gaining momentum. The viewers came for Fong's fame, but became more and more interested in Han Sin and Silver Killer later. Hansen beat all his opponents in one item after another, relying on the excellent performance of Silver Killer. When people believed that it was only because of the Warframe that he won, they had ignored the importance of his operation. Even in Warframe shooting, Hansen was using a mounted manual weapon system and achieved high accuracy, which was also considered to be one of the virtues of Silver Killer. Everyone thought it was the performance of Silver Killer that led to Han Sin's success and started to discuss which company had produced it. Other discussions were focused on whether such a victory was meaningless. Most people ignored the driver of Silver Killer. Ji Yinran's face darkened when seeing Hansen winning again and again. Each time he won, she felt as if she was punched in the chest. When Hansen won his fifth championship, she was about to cry. The thought of having to kiss that brat, which would also be her first kiss, made Ji Yin and feel hopeless. What's the matter? You look pale, asked Chu Lily, concerned. I am fine. Ji Yin and continued to watch the game, absent minded. Hansen kept winning, which made Ji more and more upset. She was distracted when it was her turn to compete in Hand of God and only got the 13th place in the end, worse than her performance last year. The thought of kissing that bastard made her uneasy. Hansen's winning streak was unstoppable. He had won all the games he was in, counting eight championships out of nine now. The Warframe Society won the only item he did not participate in. There were now only two items left. One was single Warframe combat, and the other was group Warframe combat. The Warframe Society members could not wait to hit Hansen hard in these two items, because they needed to vent after being sullen from the previous matches. Chapter 155 changing the rules. Different from other Warframe games, single Warframe combat and group Warframe combat were both realized via the virtual simulation to avoid casualties and Warframe damages. After all, it was not a real war, and the players were only military school students, so they would not be asked to fight like real soldiers. In a virtual combat, the data of their Warframes would be scanned and virtual Warframes would be generated. The operation was also the same as that in reality. As the sponsor of the game, Starry Group suddenly changed the game rules. Luo Xiangyang put both hands on the table in anger, stared at Zhao Nangtian, director of Starry Cup, and asked, Why did you change the rules of single Warframe combat? This is not fair for most of the players. Zhao Nangtian looked calm and sipped from a cup of hot tea before he put on a fake smile. The change itself is to maintain fairness. Coach Luo, you think it is fair for other players to compete with a Warframe of such performance? There is nothing unfair here. The weak will get be beaten. It is the same everywhere. Since it is a single Warframe combat, it is supposed to be one-on-one. -on -one. How can you change the rules so wantonly? Luo Xiangyang said angrily. Coach Luo, this is not a random change, but a responsible one. No need to speak further. As the sponsor, we have the right to make the most reasonable changes to the rules of the game. In addition, such a change would actually benefit your society, Zhao Nangtian said impatiently. The Warframe Society does not need such an unfair advantage. We want to win using our own strength, Luo Xiangyang gritted his teeth and said. Does not matter. The rules are set, and if you are not satisfied with the rules, you can quit, Zhao said coldly. Luo Xiangyang was mad, but helpless at the same time. He could not ask his society to step down just because of his anger. And technically speaking, Starry Group's change would benefit the Warframe society indeed. The single Warframe combat was changed to a melee. All players would be sent to the same scene, and whoever survived in the end would become the champion. Luo Xiangyang knew well that all the players had a problem with the Silver Killer driven by Han Senator. This rule was basically allowing all the players to gang up on Han Sen and the heavy Warframe society members. Even if Han Sen was outstanding, he would not be able to withstand the attack from hundreds of Warframes. He was doomed. Starry Group did not do that to help the Warframe Society, but because of Han Sin and Silver Killer's excellence in Starry Cup. After all, Silver Killer was not one of their products. Before knowing which company made Silver Killer, 
Starry Group would not tolerate a Warframe that was not one of their own products to appear and stand out in the finals. That was why Starry Group had changed the rules to eliminate Han Sin and Silver. Killer. Luo Xiangyang was extremely angry about this. He wanted his students to beat Han Sin, but not in such a way. This would bring his society shame instead of glory. People would probably even speculate that they were behind this change and consider them sore losers. When the changed rules were announced, there was suddenly an uproar. Not only the Blackhawk students, but also viewers on the Skynet were debating. This rule is clear targeting Silver Killer's driver. Can they change the rules just like this? Haha, -ha, it should have been done a long time ago. He is a bully with a good warframe. Now it's time for others to revenge. Starry Group is really shameless. They even changed the rules. So shameless and petty. My condolences to the driver of Silver Killer. I'm waiting to see him being torn into pieces. Heavy Warframe Society members will be miserable. This will be a good show. Silver Killer is doomed. A great Warframe wasted. I wanted to see how far it could go. Fong Minkwan was also upset at this time. He did not imagine that Starry Group would be so shameless that they changed a one-on-one -on -one combat to a melee. But Fong Minghuan also knew that a corporation like Starry Group was not something he could confront. He had to say in the live show, because of the change of the rules, Hansen and his silver killer will be stuck in reverse. I do not know what the sponsor of the Starry Cup was thinking, but this is undoubtedly an unfair fight. I can only hope that Hansen could fulfill his potential and thrive. The result does not matter at this point. Agreed. Starry Group is disgusting. More than disgusting, it's rubbish. Starry Group has always been rubbish. But no matter how the audience protested, the game still started in accordance with the new rules. This change is very unfair to that archery student. Chu Lily could not help but said. Although Ji Yin An was unhappy to see the championships Hansen had won, she felt that this temporary change of rules was too much. Not just him, the whole heavy Warframe society will suffer. They will be regarded as the first target to attack, Ji Yin An frowned and said. The students and viewers originally displeased by Han Sen's dependence on a high-performance Warframe suddenly adopted a sympathetic attitude. Only a few were gloating. After all, most people were kind and sympathized with the weak, and Starry Group had really gone too far. In any case, the game began. All the participants used a holographic simulator to scan their own Warframes and generated their own virtual Warframes, ready to fight in the virtual world. But when everyone saw the game map, they could not help but call the sponsor shameless. The map turned out to be a large fighting ring a huge circular space without any shelters. In other words, Hansen and Silver Killer would be exposed to attacks from the very beginning and did not even have any room to dodge or hide. Damn, Starry Group are a bunch of mother fasterous cash tech curse. They are not leaving these guys any chances to survive. Curses of the unfair treatment filled the comments of the live show as most people were very sympathetic to Han Sr. Chapter 156, Game On. Sin, they will tear us apart. Feeling the wolfish gazes from other players, Shi Kong felt upset. He was sure that they would be besieged, because those guys simply hated Han Sin and Silver Killer too much to let go of such a good opportunity. What is there to be afraid of? We will show Starry Group the power of Room 304, Zhang Yang exclaimed in excitement. Not Room 304, but Heavy Warframe Society, Li Xinjin corrected him. But we are so few. How could we survive the attacks from all the other players on campus? Fatty looked rather sad. It was rare that the Heavy Warframe Society had a chance to shine, which would end very soon. One society against the entire school. Even if we lose, we should still feel honored. Wang Meiming said seriously. Yes, even if we lose, we will give them a hard time. Skinny also said excitedly. Blindness cannot solve any problems, Lu Ming calmly said. Starry Group was stupid to have chosen this map. They think that now Sound could not dodge or hide, but they have forgotten that we are against students instead of an army. Maybe the Warframe Society members have better disciplines, but the rest of them have no experience in group fight. In such a narrow space, we have more opportunities. Lu, tell us what plan you have, sure urged him anxiously. At that time, they will certainly place us in the same spot, so there has to be sacrifices. However, if some of us could manage to march into the crowd, they will become our best cover. Lu Ming said confidently, Among us, Sin, 
Zhang Yang, and I have the best skills, so the rest of you should cover us to get to the crows. I made a diagram, and we should all have a look. Fatty and Skinny will come with us and sacrifice themselves when necessary. The three girls are responsible for covering the team by firing. Great. Let's do this and kill those sons of bitches out there. Skinny cried after looking at Lu Ming's diagram. No problem, this is our chance to shine. We will go as far as possible and none would dare to look down on heavy Warframe society. Fatty gritted his teeth and said, Brother Han, rest assured that I will cover you, Wang Ming Ming said. Don't, Ming Ming. Please do not try to cover Senator, just avoid firing on us, Shur quickly said. He was worried about Wang Ming Ming's operational skills. She was like a kid and completely wasted such a good Warframe as Destroyer. Haha. Uh -huh. Others laughed. Well, Ming Ming, you will be the one responsible for covering me. Don't mind other things, Hansen said with a smile. A brother is a brother, much better than the rest of you, Wang Ming Ming said happily. At the start of the fight, in the virtual scene, all players were sent from the surrounding channels. And the sponsor, Starry Group, did what Lu Ming said they would do, sending the heavy Warframe Society members in the same spot in order for the rest to besiege them. The moment they appeared in the ring, Hansen, Lu Ming, Zhang Yang, Fatty, and Skinny drove their Warframes at full speed and rushed to the crowd. Wang Ming Ming, Wang Chun and Li Xinjin were firing at them at the same time to cover the five Warframes leading the team. What Lu Ming said was right. The opponents were not a well-trained army after all. Seeing the five coming over, everyone's first reaction was to fire at them, which made a complete mess. Because the venue is a ring with limited space, crossfire would easily cause accidental injuries. Han Sin and his people spread out, firing while approaching the other Warframes, which was not easy to achieve under such intense assault. Han Sin's eyes were burning. Sitting in the holographic simulation machine, he summoned Fairy Queen and Shea shifted. Immediately, the holographic images seemed to have slowed down. Everything can be calculated now. Hansen quickly made dazzling movements with his hands, making Silver Killer move like a ghost. Holding one particle submachine gun in each hand and carrying two laser swords on his back, Hansen marched forward without pauses while shooting rapidly. At Blackhawk, most of the teachers and students were watching this game, and Fong Ming Kwan now had over 10 million viewers and was getting more. Aha! Heavy Warframe Society took the initiative to attack. It seems they have not given up. Come on! Annihilate the rest. It's so exciting. Fong Ming Kwan was constantly adjusting all the lens to present the viewers with the best angles. They want to go inside the crowd, which is a very smart approach. Because their opponents are not professional soldiers, they can use the melee to their advantage. Those who knew tactics understood what the heavy Warframe society was trying to accomplish. Please let them go deep. Some people were praying for the heavy Warframe society. Go. More people were simply excited. No matter who won, all they wanted to see was a good fight. In the monitoring room of the sponsor, Zhao Nangtian sneered, with so few people, they could never beat hundreds of Warframes. Director, you were so wise. That guy is dead, his secretary Zhang said with a flattering smile. Boom. 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 The sounds of explosion were ringing on the site and it was a total chaos. Wang Ming Ming made Destroyer stand still and fired away toward the direction of Silver Killer. S asterisk hashtag T. That destroyer must be operated by a spy. It will kill Silver Killer first before anything else. Haha, uh -huh. we have a traitor here. The destroyer is such a clown. When the viewers were amused by the performance of the destroyer, their faces suddenly froze. Silver Killer was moving like a phantom. As if it had eyes on its back as well, it managed to dodge all the attacks from the destroyer like it was rehearsed beforehand. Since the opponent's vision was first blocked by Silver Killer, they had failed to see the Destroyer's attacks. When they saw, it was too late. Boom. 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 As Silver Killer moved past them, several Warframes exploded under the fierce assault, leaving all the viewers stunned. Chapter 157. Kill Them All. The gorgeous killing feast had just begun. Silver Killer was moving quickly with the powerful Destroyer behind it. The crazy killing made one Warframe after another explode. People were almost trembling watching the fragments of Warframes sent in the air by gunfire. Scattered attacks were aiming at Silver Killer, which seemed to be able to predict and avoid all the trajectory of the gunfire. 
It not only avoided all the attacks, but was also rapidly approaching the Warframe crowd. Fire. Do not let him approach. Damn. Do not fire. Are you all stupid? Everyone, follow my command. Kill that bastard. Didn't you hear me say follow my command? Using the Fairy Queen, Hansen could see all the Warframes and the movements of their guns. With the strong horsepower of Silver Killer and Han Sen's excellent operation, he managed to avoid all the attacks. No. Rather, Han Sen was deliberately leading the opponents to attack where he wanted. If the opponents was a real army and there was a real commander, Han Sen and Silver Killer would have been killed a million times. But luckily, they were but a group of students who had no real experience at war. In addition, they did not come from the same society and many never even worked together before. Bang! Destroyer was finally finished off. Wang Mingming's level of operation was really bad. All she could do was to stand the destroyer still and use its automatic firing system. But that was enough for Han Senator when the destroyer was wrecked. Han Sen was already less than 30 feet away from his opponents. Bang! The particle submachine gun ejected bullets, which penetrated and disabled the Warframe. Then Silver Killer waltzed away from the intense gunfire and accelerated into the crowd. The real killing officially started. Silver Killer was like an excellent hunter in the forest, hunting the other Warframes as it wished. Bang! With each of the gunshot, one Warframe would be disabled or hit in the engine. Like a devil, Silver Killer was harvesting the lives of the Warframes. Do not let him run. Damn, who hit me? Do not shoot if you don't know how. Are you all idiots? Move her over. You are the idiot. Are you blind? I asked you to follow my command. Those bastards are unreliable. Let's go near him and get it over with. Yes. Go. Silver killers killed like satin and moved like a ghost. The other Warframes were moving in a clumsy way like heavy Warframes in comparison. People who were watching the game were dumbfounded. The stadium was quiet as they were shocked how incredible Silver Killer was acting. It was a killing machine in its true sense. Each of its bullets could hit the vital part with unbelievable accuracy. It was breathtaking to see someone capable of destroying one Warframe with each shot while backing off and avoiding all the gunfire. The Skynet viewers were also silent. There were few comments. Only Fong Mingchuan's voice was nonstop. Silver Killer, again. Beautiful shooting, beautiful movement. Impeccable, impeccable operation and tactics. This is the star in the Alliance. I don't have words for his gorgeous operation. Well done, beautiful. This is a wonderful performance. Hansen and his silver killer showed us how a Warframe can be operated. In the next few years, Black Hawk will occupy an important position in the Military Academy League game, just because there is this one person. With him, Blackhawk will be the undisputed champion. Boom. A Warframe finally approached Silver Killer, which suddenly threw the submachine gun in the air and drew a laser sword from its back, cutting the offending Warframe in half. The it still had time to put the sword back and catch the gun, shooting another approaching Warframe in the energy tank. My god, this guy must be an alien. Fong Mingguan roared excitedly, using all his enthusiasm and strength. This was his job, his favorite job. F asterisk hashtag King A, who said Silver Killer was the only reason for his victory. He is a master himself. Haha, <laughs> what a victory. Starry Group will be humiliated. They tried to set him up and still failed. A star in the Military Academy League game. Well, is it a Warframe veteran playing actually? No way. The players are all sitting inside the holographic simulation machine. Really cool. I want to see the sponsor's expressions. Silver Killer is a very high-end Warframe. Ordinary Warframes could not go like that. Their power and flexibility could not reach this level. I also want to know where to buy Silver Killer. The Skynet was exploding. Fang Mingxuan's live was being watched by more than 30 million people. Many people who were watching other divisions games also switched to the show after hearing about this match. Wow, you are sure this is not an official commercial of that Warframe? So hot. That is the Silver Killer. Awesome. At this time, in the monitoring room, Zhao Ningxin was sizzling with anger. His fingers were squeezing his teacup so hard that they became pale. Bastard. Useless crap. Zhao Nengtian smashed the cup in wrath, his body shaking. Chapter 158. A Great Victory. Ji Yin and looked blankly at the silver figure in the holographic image, 
unable to link it to that smiling guy. Is it really him who is driving Silver Killer? Ji Yin Ran was reluctant to accept this fact. How could the guy who joked around all day with her have such incredible operational skills at Wolfrain? Judging from his performance now, his hands must be very fast. So, when we were in that spaceship, he did not cheat? That was what he could actually achieve? Ji Yin had suddenly thought of it, her body slightly shaking. Then her face was flushed on the thought of another matter. She could not help but thought. If he really has the skills, then, my girlfriend is Ji Yin Ron would be him. Ji Yin and was more and more convinced of her guess. With that kind of speed and ID name, who else could it be? That bastard, how dare him lie to me? Ji Yin Ren felt embarrassed. On a second thought, she suddenly found that she was the one who took him for a cheater, while he was always trying to explain. Hansen had never lied to her. He even told her who he was via the ID name. My girlfriend is Ji Yin Ron. This ID is not already told Ji Yin and who is he? But Ji Yin Ren had never made that connect. Thinking of Han San and that ID, Ji Yin Ren blushed a little more. On the thought of the bet they made, her face was burning. Bad, bad, bad. Ji Yin Ren covered her face with both hands and cried in a meek voice. Sweetie, are you okay? Chu Lily was stunned by Ji because she had never seen this girl acting this way. People next to them were also shocked by Ji Yin Ron's bashful look. Ji Yin and then realized she was still at the venue of the Hand of God games, surrounded by the members of Hand of God society. She was mortified and wished that she could become invisible. It's a great victory. Let's remember these two names, Silver Killer and its driver Han Senator maybe were witnessing the rise of another king in the Military Academy League. He is creating history. Fang Mingxuan's passionate voice marked the end of an extraordinary single Warframe combat. Remaining on the field were only two Warframes, Han Sen's Silver Killer and Lu Ming's Victor. All the other Warframes had exploded. Lu Ming quit the game and left the ring to Silver Killer, which had just ended its frenzy. More than three or four hundred Warframes were blown off by it. When the Silver Killer stepped on the podium and accepted the trophy, thunderous applause lasted a long time. In any case, this was a memorable game. The two names, Silver Killer and Hansen, were also imprinted on all viewers' minds. The group Warframe combat did not even begin. After the single combat, all other players were crushed psychologically and thus conceded in the beginning. The team of the Heavy Warframe Society won the championship by default. After the end of the game, a lot of people were still too excited to leave, talking about the crazy game. One hour after Fang Mingxuan's live show had ended, the number of people watching his program even increased. More and more people were hoping to see Fang Mingxuan's recording of the game. Although other news stations had also recorded this game, their equipment there was not good enough, and the quality of their recordings was poor. Fang Mingxuan did not waste a minute before he asked all the staff to edit the footage as fast as they could. Silver Killer was the center of attention in the edited recording, except in the beginning when it was covered by the destroyer. Silver Killer's movements were so perfect that the staff did not want to give up any frames. So, the final version was more than 30 minutes. Fong Ming Wan named the video himself before uploading. Best Division Single Warframe Combat Champion, Silver Killer and its Gorgeous Conquer. The moment the video was uploaded, it was downloaded and spread at an incredible speed. All the people who had watched it could feel nothing but satisfactory. They were impressed by the silver warframe that moved like ghost and its violent gunshots. Everyone enjoyed the pleasure of seeing its incredible accuracy and swift slaying. People even became addicted and watched it over and over again. This is a true warframe. I've watched a dozen times. I can't stop now. A gorgeous killing feast. Which company made this? I want one so much. Same here. I need this warframe in my life. I want to buy 10 of this. Do not just look at the warframe. The driver is the key. He is definitely beyond the unevolved level. I bet that you can count the top players like him in the whole Military Academy League with one hand. Haha. Uh -huh. And he is in the Archery Department and Heavy Warframe Society. The Warframe. Society must feel humiliated. Funny to think that an archery student is the champion of a Warframe game. I heard that the Archery Department of Black Hawk was on the bottom of Military Academy League in the previous year. I wonder how his archery skills are. Of course he is good at archery he is in the archery department. He has way too nice skin to drive in such a brutal style. I barely saw him miss. 
He is an archery student. How is his accuracy even worth discussing? The video went viral all over the Alliance quickly. Students from all military schools had seen the video and made a variety of analyses of it. Most of their conclusion was that Silver Killer and its driver had gone beyond the level of ordinary military school students. Chapter 159 A Fact More people wanted to know where to buy a Warframe like Silver Killer. They had searched the Skynet for all products available, but found nothing like it. Many people had guessed that it was custom-made, but still have no idea which company had produced it, as there was no imprint on Silver Killer. At the same time, in a military factory, Lu Changming said to Professor Tang, Come and look at this. Tang Mingxia was an authoritative figure in the Warframe industry and specialized in biological Warframe. The super biological Warframes that they were preparing to launch was a product developed by Tang's team. After Tang Mingxiao sat down, Lu Changming played a video showing Han Sin and Silver Killer's game, the version edited by Fong Mingguan. Tang Mingxi was slightly surprised and said, This is the T9 prototype from our lab. Its driver must be an Evolver player? Good eye, Professor Tang. It is the T9 prototype, but its driver is a freshman at Blackhawk, 17 years old and unevolved, Lu Changming said with a smile. A military school freshman? Tang Mingxi was stunned and carefully looked at the video again. He could not believe an unevolved person can reach this level. Professor Tang, the video you see right now is a single Warframe combat, which had aroused great attention among all major military schools. Now almost all the military school students know about Silver Killer, which is our T9 prototype. Lu Changming said with a smile. You want to take advantage of this opportunity to launch T10? Tang Mingxiao immediately understood what Lu Changming was going for. I think this student is fit to be T10's spokesperson to help us promote T10, and T10's appearance needs some changes to imitate T9. Professor Tang, what do you think of this idea? Lu Changming explained his proposal. I'm okay with it, but he is just a military school student. Can he really be the spokesperson of T10? Tang Ming she wondered. Lu Changming laughed. I have done a detailed investigation of him, and it chances that he is a member of the special squad. He is a special squad member? Tang Mingxi was surprised again, because it was very rare that someone Han Sen's age could join the special squad. Yes, you remember Qin Xian from House Qin? She was the one who recommended Han Senior, Lu Changming smiled. That girl, she is still in First God Sanctuary? Tang Mingxiao nodded. He had a great impression of Qin Xian. She should evolve and go to Second God Sanctuary very soon, Lu Changming replied. Tang Mingxiao nodded and said, since he is recommended by that girl, he should be able to endorse T10. Since you agree with me on this, then I will go ahead and execute the plan. Lu Changming was quite excited. Although T10 is a latest type of biological warframe, it fell short in performance and other aspects compared to T9. After all, T9 was a military prototype, whereas T10 was a model for civil use. Hansen did not know there was a good thing waiting to happen. At this moment, he was humming a little song on the way to a date. After celebrating the entire night with his roommates, Hansen texted Ji Yin in and got a reply from her unexpectedly. Ji asked him to meet at the cafeteria near their dorms, the one that had the fruit juice that they both enjoyed. Ready to be kissed by this beauty, Hansen felt full of energy and power walked to the cafeteria. It was after 2 o'clock in the morning. There was only a curvy figure in the entire cafeteria. Hansen sat down opposite Ji Yin In and said with a smile, Well done. You are keeping your promise this time. She blushed a little and remained quiet. Biting her pink lip, she regarded Hansen with her charming eyes for as long as 10 minutes. As thick skinned as Hans sound, he was shy after being looked at for so long. He said, I know. I am very handsome, but if you keep gazing at me like this, I might get the wrong idea. What wrong idea? Ji Yin and finally spoke. Wrong idea that you want to make a pass at me. Hansen blinked, looking abashed. Ji Yanren blushed more and stared at Han Sr. You wish. I'm afraid you would wish that. Hansen looked scared. Ji Yanren snapped. Stop the nonsense, or I will leave. Do not go. You still owe me the kiss. Hansen shamelessly stuck his face in front of Ji. Yin and and pouted. Here, on the lips. Ji Yin and was very shy and flicked him on the forehead. If you keep doing that, I will leave for real. I'm just trying to claim what is mine. Hansen rubbed his forehead and said helplessly. I can kiss you, 
but you have to answer a few questions first. Ji Yin and looked at Han Sin and asked. She had been wondering about some things. If I can answer them, I will. But if I can't, you cannot refuse to kiss me. Han Sin was determined. I know. She had never blushed so much in her life. On the spaceship, did you or did you not cheat in the game? Ji Yin Ren stayed calm and asked. I've told you a lot of times. I have not cheated. Hansen spread out his hands. Did you have an account on the battle net? Ji asked again. Yes, replied Han Sr. What is your ID? Ji Yin Ren hesitated and asked anxiously. My girlfriend is Ji Yin Ren. Hansen answered directly. Ji Yin Ren's face was burning. She cried. How can you use such an ID? I was just stating a fact. You are my girlfriend. Hansen looked at Ji Yin Ren, blinked and said. Chapter 160 My mother says girlfriends are for cheeky guys. Ji Yin Ren bowed her head and bit her lip. She had mixed feelings and had never dreamed that she would feel this way. Sister, shouldn't you honor the contract now? Hansen pouted. You cannot expect me to do this in public. Ji Yin and looked like she was drunk with her crimson cheeks. Hansen's heart suddenly raced. He widened his eyes and said, Do you want to get a room? Shut up. Ji Yin ran through her cup at Hansen and turned away. Hansen caught the cup and quickly followed her. He walked side by side with her and touched her arm with his. What? Ji Yin and snappily glared at him. A couple should walk like this. Hansen put Ji Yin Ron's hand on his arm and said with a smile. Ji Yin Ron's cheeks were flushed, but she did not pull her hand back. She rolled her eyes and said, Cheeky. My mother said girlfriends are for cheeky guys, said Hansen without shame. Ji Yin and was trying to say something when she saw a few students approach them. She quickly lowered her hood like a frightened little rabbit. Holding Han Sin's arm tightly, she used it to cover her face. Although Ji Yin and hid herself well, the students still came over to greet Han Sr. Han Sin, are you Han Sin? You are my idol. Your game was so great. Your skills are amazing. These freshmen talked excitedly to Han Sin, who had become a celebrity at Blackhawk. This is your girlfriend? Soon they noticed the Hansen had a girl next to him, but did not recognize Ji Yin and since she was hiding her face. Ji Yin and now wanted to find a hole on the ground and escape. She could not leave and did not want to stay. Yes, my girlfriend. She is shy and does not like to speak, Hansen said with a smile. Quiet girls are great. Commented the students, and Hansen was very happy to chat with them. At this time, Ji Yin and was tightly holding his arm and he could feel the softness surrounding his arm, which he enjoyed very much. Hansen hoped he could prolong the conversation as much as possible. But the students were very polite and did not want to disturb them. Hansen had to let them go. You did that on purpose. Ji Yin and pinched Hansen on the waist after the students had gone far. What's wrong with that? Asked Han Sr. Ji Yin ran was speechless. Hansen took her hand and continued to walk. It was the middle of the night. They did not run into anyone else before they reached Ji Yinran's dormitory building. Sister, you will not go back like this, right? The contract has not been fulfilled yet, Hansen bitterly said. Ji Yinran rolled her eyes at him and reached out a hand. Give me the contract. Hansen obediently gave her his contract. She took the contract back, blushed, and said, Close your eyes. Hansen followed her command. Ji Yinran took a deep breath and fought back her desire to escape. With her heart racing, she stood on her toes, pressed her pink and tender lips on his lightly, and quickly turned away. It was too late. Before her lips could leave his, his hand held her waist and his other hand slipped into her silky hair and hugged her beautiful neck. Ji Yin An was suddenly in Han Sin's arms and her lips were pressed against his. Ji Yin Ron's body was stiff at first and then slowly softened. Her hands helplessly clutching Han Sin's shirt, she stepped back uncontrollably as her legs became weak. Hansen just had the best experience and would not let her off the hook. He kept up with her and pressed her body against a column of the building. The two just had the first taste of love and was lost in ecstasy. Suddenly, they heard a crisp female voice, Friends, at least you should find somewhere less public before you continue. Ji Yin and heard this voice and was suddenly terrified. It was the voice of Chu Lily, her good friend and roommate. Her first reaction was to push Hansen away, but she could not do that since she would expose herself. Ji Yin and quickly buried her head in Hansen's chest, her face on fire. 
She also blamed Hansen secretly for putting her in this awkward position. Sister, why don't you go to bed now that it's late? Do you want to join us? Hansen knew Ji Yanran was shy and covered the back of her head with one hand, blocking Chu Lily's sight. Shameless, Chu Lily stomped on the floor and ran back to her dorm room. After Chu Lily went up, Ji Yin and brought the heel of her shoe hard on Han Sen's foot and ran into the building, leaving Hans and clutching his feet. Ji Yin and did not dare to go back to her room right away. She hid in a restroom for a long while before she returned to her room. Chu Lily saw Ji Yin and was back and said, Sweetie, did you see that nasty couple downstairs? What nasty couple? Ji Yin and pretended to be making her bed, her face crimson. The couple that were making out in front of our building. OMG, are they horny? And the guy is so shameless, he even said, forget it. I can't even repeat that. And the girl must be such a slut. Chu Lily said madly. Ji Yin Ren was so shy that she wished she could become invisible, but she had to act it like nothing had happened.